What's up everyone, I'm Bill, I'm with Cali Moto TV and we are back here at Cali Track Days and I'm on the MT-09, I'm in my matching leathers. He's in his MT-09 and is not matching leathers, but it's okay. And we're gonna go out for a few sessions. It's, you know, come on, we got a match. All right, so we're gonna go out on these MT-09s, have a little bit of fun, follow him around. So I'm gonna follow you for a couple laps. I'll follow you. So you go. And we're going to follow him. Get a feel for him. Ah, kind of nice to ride with another MT out here. Some of these people think we're laughing at us. We had five MT-09s out today. Good body position so far. Good body position. Although he's a little bit too close to the corner. Supposed to wait to blend in. All right, let's see what we got with this guy. We're not gonna work on body position clearly. Let's work on hitting the apexes. Let's talk about that. Not too bad. Reel it in a little bit faster. So he's getting way behind the apex. So you notice that, that watch where he's hitting the apex cone, behind it. These cones, we should be hitting it at it. So I'm not gonna complain about his body position because clearly he's got that down. All right. So he's staying over on the bike a little bit too much. So he's not keeping it up enough. So if we can keep it up higher, I think we'll be much better. Let's get, get around him. We're in C group, so we're outside passing only. So that was good. So watch him, he's behind the cone. See my position to his position? And he's turning in good, but watch where he ends up. He's behind the cone. So what we want to do is we want him to get this side of the cone more. That's what we want to work on with this guy. Body position's great. Now these MT-09s, uh, you know, we got to kind of get over this far if we want to keep on the meat. And the main reason is because our foot pegs are really low on this bike. And because of that, we scrape. And rear sets are extremely expensive because only, I think, Woodcraft makes a set. So, oh, we got another MT-09 coming into the mix. All right, see where he, I like where that guy got. All right, I like the, the first guy. Did you see the apex difference? Now, because of his apex difference, he went way wide. Now watch where he hits. He hits behind the apex. If he hits before the apex, he can pick up his bike, get on the throttle faster. Come on, come on. So we're not inside passing, but in that case, we did need to inside pass a little bit. But here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass him real quick. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna point out the apexes, all right? See me throwing out my hands. I think I got a little hot there. I <laughs> loved him a little bit. So we're going to watch him. Woo.
I'm really trying to be like, look, this is where we're gonna hit the apex, right? So we're going to pull off. Oh, I think he thinks. Yep. All right. So bad, bad, bad. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. I think he just realized that I wanted him to pull off, but it's all right. So why we indicate, right? The main reason why we indicate is exactly that. We don't want people like this coming back in. So that was that was a no-no. So Okay. So let's work on this. Okay. I can't talk about your body position, man. Okay. All right? Watch me this lap on my apexes. Okay. So the cone is here. Here's the corner, right? Yeah. The cone is here. This is your apex. You're hitting the corner apex here. Really? Way be behind, late, way late, okay? okay? So we want to hit it sooner. The sooner we hit it, the sooner we can pick up the bike, the sooner we can get acceleration and throttle out, okay? okay? So watch as I do it, I, I should hit the apex and start picking up the bike right at those cones. Okay. You're beyond it. So what's happening is you're turning the bike way too much. You got too much turn. Right, because I'm coming in way too late, right? Right. Okay. So then, so then you've got to you've got to kind of continue through. You've got too much of this around the corner, right? We want to go bink, turn, bink, right? We want to stay on obviously the portion of our tires, the one third. I talk about that, the meat of the tires. Okay. We want to stay on that portion because if we can stay on that portion and pick up the bike, we can get that acceleration out, and we got grip, and we got drive. More contact. Yep. So let's uh, uh, follow me this round, okay? All right, that was good. All right, so we're gonna head back out. What's up, people? All right, back out in the sea, back out in the sea. All right. And we've got good heat in our tires. We haven't been off the track long. So, and we got nobody coming, so that's good. Forget I got mirrors on this thing. No mirrors allowed on track, by the way, instructors only. But it's funny because I still tend to forget to use them. hit that cone and pick it up right hit this cone pick it up uh, maybe not that one <laughs> All right, so we've got him So it's a big change. I can tell he's already slowed down a bit. And the reason he's slowing down, obviously, clearly, is because of the comfort level. We've moved him up six feet. So right here, we start to pick it up. So when we get up to speed, this is gonna be a much better line for him. So what did we see wrong with him? Comment down below. He's not hitting apexes. He's going way around. He's turning the bike way too much. The guy 
and the MT just his body position is somewhat pretty decent it's on point so see how he's turning too much but let's not teach him let's get a little drive on this guy if we can this way it sets him up and he should be able to pass and be with me. There we go, buddy. There we go, get a tire on him, that's good. Good pass, good pass. Never liked this spot right there. Let him catch up to us. Oop, we got a little smoke on this guy. So just like the last guy, we've lost speed, right? And again, it's gonna be a comfort thing. So he's real back some. He's gotta relearn a little bit. But when we get into the pits, what he will say is that feels much more comfortable. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let him get up and pass me. Does he hit it sooner? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Phil Hill, remember, he was way past the hill. Uh, he goes a little bit wide, it's all right. There we go. He's got that apex, pulls it back up. He's gonna hit this here, straight up. It's a tricky one, man. You can go wide and you get scoo spooked because of that rumble strip. But that rumble strip's a nice little hit, it's fine. Little bit of traffic. So remember we're in the C group, so we do have a slower C group rider. checkered ah that's julio and his girlfriend first time on the track so let's see he wants to hit it and then start standing it up now that's a tricky corner because it's kind of like a it's much rounded you get it. i think ken hill would have ricocheted that off and gone off a little bit and used the outside apex definitely So this should be a good hit. Much better. A little bit sooner I would have liked on that one. In or more on that one I would have liked. That will be a nice picture. Check us out on Instagram. You'll probably see that picture in the next week or so. Hashtag MT09Love.
So we slowed down a little bit. We got a little bit of traffic, but it's good. It's good. So we lost them a little bit, just in a little bit of traffic, but we do have our checkered flag out. So this is gonna be the end of the session here. Cisco, Cisco's used to being in the back, so he just doesn't like to be in front. So he's like, oh, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> but I think what we are going to do is I think we're gonna do another back-to-back -back because I just haven't ridden that much, but let's go and talk to this guy, see what he feels, see how he feels because of this. Um, I think he's gonna say, obviously I'm much slower, but I think he's gonna say, I, I feel like I've got better control in the corners, right? Which he works on the speed. You can work on the speed. You can work on the speed. You get better control, you get better drive, you get better speed, right? A group's already out. So let's talk to him. Let's go grab the BMW. And let's go have a blast in the B-plus group. I have not been in the B-plus group today, so I am excited to go out in the B-plus group. Let's follow MT-09. All right, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. First reaction here. How was that? A lot smoother. Smoother? Smoother. Come Not as fast. A little later. Right. Yeah, that's the goal for me to do is just come in a little later. Okay. Brake a little harder. Okay. And, uh, come in a little harder. Yep. So. Now, did you notice that you slowed down a little bit? I did the second lap. Yep. Because I thought that was some, there was something else that went by. Okay. So. But do you feel? Can you feel how the drive will be better? Yeah. Because you hit that apex sooner. Let it go. That's it. Appreciate it, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll... Uh, I'm Bill. Bill, Adrian. Adrian, good to meet you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll have this out on our vlog if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Heck yeah. So keep an eye out for it. Calimoto TV. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. So there you go, guys. Riding off into the sunset with the MT-09. We'll put this thing away for the day. We got one more session. I think we're gonna do the B plus group in the, on the BMW. I love the BMW. So I think I'm gonna do one quick session there and we'll call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Smash that like button. If you enjoyed this video, we've got more to come. We've got 10 of these track days. If you guys haven't checked out CaliTrackDays.com, make sure you check out CaliTrackDays.com, but uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next video. Next video, we're gonna be on the BMW S1000 in the B Plus group. Stay tuned.